Hi everyone, peace to you. I'm standing in the one of the very most beautiful cities within the uh, Warsaw and the region of Łódź. So this is called Łowicz. Łowicz comes from uh, the name Łowicz, Łowicz city, stems, stems from the uh, Polish word Łowicz. So it's to hunt, it means to hunt, it's the verb. So it's somehow connected with this idea. In the, all of the documents you may find the name Łowicz uh, written with uh, CH uh, on the end. It's always um, written in the Latin language. So in the, the, all of the, all these medieval documents you may find something like this if you are willing to read more. But if you're coming back to the history, firstly, it was the uh, region where you may hunt a lot of, um, let's say, when the, the noble people, when the Polish uh, knights could uh, hunt. So this was this region. It was very well known if you consider the whole historical background of this uh, area because of the fact that, firstly, it was um, uh, taken, uh, it was possessed by uh, the archbishops of this region. So let's, let's be uh, clear that they had um, made a great impact on development on this city. Firstly, they created the church, then they created the castle. Firstly, those two things were wooden. Then they can change it into the brick ones. So when the, those uh, buildings were brick, the city was uh, changing uh, very fastly. So um, also the uh, intellectual and the cultural background of this area has, been, has changed um, simply very well. But the time has changed and uh, it, it was some kind of moment in 6055 until 6060 it was some kind of, the, the, in Polish we can we na name it as the uh, Swedish flood. It was the war between Poland and Sweden and this region also. Warsaw was destroyed a lot and um, only 6,000 on 18,000 18, people has survived, has prevailed and also those small cities nearby like Łowicz has been completely destroyed and unluckily all of the churches, monasteries and um, castle were destroyed by the Swedish army when they were leaving the city. They made it um, as the aim to destroy it also this cultural background of this place. But the times has changed and the city has been renewed. Right now you may see different places that are connected with the uh, Polish new nowadays history. You may see for example the townhouse that is town hall that is here the the biggest uh, the most important uh, churches of Saint Mary um, so this is what we see behind me this place right now is also important because if you're coming back to the history in 19th century we had two big uprisings in November uprising in 1830 and January uprising in 1863 so all in both both um, battles against um, mostly against Russia to make the Polish independent country, this city was very uh, important. So also on the obelisk that I will show you on the video uh, right now, uh, in a, probably you know within one minute, you will see also the statue that it's commemorating all of the people who has died in the January, upri January uprising against the uh, Russian uh, army. So it was, they were very important because they put a lot of effort to make Poland independent um, state. What we have more during the Second World War near this place, because uh, you may know that you should know that this area is very close to the uh, river called Bzura. So uh, in, under this Bzura river, we had a very big battle in the September 1939. So a lot of great brave soldiers, Polish soldiers, were tra trying to defend and fight against uh, Germans. And you will also see the um, like occupation moments because I've got, I've got it on my uh, video. So uh, it was very important place. Right now is also uh, the the part uh, the, of the um, uh, region near Mazovia region that uh, has got very very important, let's say, um, musician team that is performing outstanding cool music that is called Mazowsze in Polish. So the the translation means that uh, it's Mazovia region, but it's not that close right now if you consider the nowadays administrations idea, but. Uh, right now it's expressing and showing the typical uh, you may see also on this video that i will show you the small uh, the outfit the style of wearing what was happening here in the 19 and um, and uh, most mostly 1920th century that were trying to be this typical traditional style of the music so right now um, the city is very good uh, in very good condition you may see a lot of uh, um, renewed 
facades of the buildings. It's a very good idea also to uh, come here to eat something, to spend your time, especially in, if it's uh, uh, spring, because right now it's autumn for me, it's quite cool. But if you had the opportunity, I'm still waiting because it's almost running, raining. But um, if you've got the opportunity, for sure you should come here, as to, mostly to see uh, the Mazovia performers team, because they are making outstanding good music. Uh, what's more, it's got very good connections with Warsaw because of the fact that we've got the, tra um, the uh, train line uh, from Warsaw to Łowicz. So I recommend it completely to you to see this place. And right now I will show you how, what I have seen um, in this great city. And I recommend it to you to come here because it's completely worth. So see you in the next episode. And I hope that you will have the opportunity to see Łowicz city on your own. See, to you, see you, peace to you and bye.